Hi everyone! Today me and Mikey are walking down the street in a mega rich neighborhood in our city. Yeah. And we decided to look at the beautiful houses. Yeah, but we actually live here, so... Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, let's go to my house. Okay. I'll show you this cool car I like. Wow, I love cool cars. Yeah, me too. There's some rich guy who lives next door. He's got a supercar and some other cars. I'd like to be super rich so I can buy the coolest cars. Wait, there's some dude outside my house. Yeah, he's coming on to you. Looks like a serious guy. Yeah. Maybe he wants to make you a business proposition. Maybe. Well, come on, let's go ask. Well, let's find out why he came to your house. Hey, great, you want something from Mikey? Yeah, I need Mikey. I've been looking for him. I understand Mikey's a friend of yours. Well, here he is in person. Well, actually, I'm Mikey. Great, you're late paying the IRS, so your house is being foreclosed on until your debts are paid. Uh, what? Wow. God, your house is now in foreclosure before you pay off your debt to the state. I hope that's clear enough. Wow, Mikey, you owe a lot of money in rent. How does that happen? Well, I, uh, never paid anything? Well, here's the result. Well, I'll go. If you want to pay the debt, yeah. you can go to the bank and pay it there. I don't get it at all. Where are you going? I need to estimate the total value of- Wow, busy boy. Wow, now I'm homeless. What am I going to do? Well, you can start by figuring out how to pay your debt. Yeah. But in the meantime, you can stay at my place. Wow, that would be awesome. Thanks, JJ. I don't mind. We're friends anyway, and we should help each other out. But how am I supposed to pay that much now that I don't even work anywhere? Let's go to my place first. To your house? Sitting on the ground is unhealthy. Yeah, you're probably right. But why isn't your house being foreclosed on. Because I go to work and pay my taxes on time. Wow, I want to do that too, but I don't want to work. How are you going to get paid and not work? I don't know. Let's go to your place. I'm starving. Okay, but first... What? Don't break anything. The next day... Mmm. What a good morning. I had such a wonderful dream where I was flying an airplane with, and then we crash. Landed on a desert island. Wow, Mikey up. Looks like he got up early to, I don't know, get a job and pay for his house, which would be cool. But knowing him, he went and did something crazy, and he's nowhere to be found, so I hope he's not in trouble. Oh, JJ, you're up already. I got a brilliant idea to get my house back and get a lot of money. Wow, that sounds scary. Tell me about it. So we blow up your house, and then the bank pays you for the damage. Wait. It's called insurance. What? Wait, I don't have insurance. Of course you have it. Everybody has it. I turned it off when I did my taxes. Uh, there's no way that's happening. Mikey, you don't have to do that. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I don't have insurance. It's okay, run away. Are you crazy? What are you doing? Oh, my head. Uh, oh, what? My house. Oh, my God. It's on fire. It's ruined. What am I supposed to do now? I gotta find Mikey before he burns down. Oh, there he is. We gotta wake him up before the fire gets him. Hey, Mikey, can you hear me? Hollow? Cool. Wake up. Wake up, house bomber. He's completely out of it. What? I'm up. I'm up. Get out of here. Come on. The house is collapsing. It's dangerous to be here. Wow. Oh, okay. So careful. Let's be careful. Any part of the house could collapse at any minute. So be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Be careful. We gotta get out of here before we burn down the house. Look what you've done to my house. Hey, but you're gonna get paid to fix it. Nobody's paying for it. What about the homeowner's insurance for the explosion? I don't have blast insurance. And house fire insurance? I don't have any insurance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't pay for it. I thought you were gonna get paid. That's not how it works. Well, now we're both homeless. Yeah, thank you for that. I was thinking. You're thinking very badly. I'm sorry. I meant well. Fine. Maybe there's an abandoned house we could live in? In the middle of the woods, of course. That would be cool. No, that wouldn't be cool. Okay. And what do we do now that we don't have a home? I don't know what to do. We need to find a house we can live in and preferably not pay taxes. You can't live in a house and not pay taxes. That's the rule. I don't want to pay anything. Wow, look. What? There's abandoned trains. Wow, they look cool. Yeah. Can we live in them and not pay taxes? Well, technically, it's not considered property, so, uh, yeah. Wow, cool. So we can live on a cool train? Are you sure there are no one's property and we can just move in? Well, no, but who's gonna stop us? Anyone stronger than us. You're right. So, uh, I don't know. Nobody lives in them and they're nobodies, I'm sure. Okay, I hope so. So we're gonna live in them, huh? My green one. Okay, my red one, as you wish. I think we can settle in here for now. Do you think they're still working? I don't know. I don't think they'd be here if they were workers. They're expensive. Okay, here's one for you. Thank you. We'll extract resources and build houses with them. Okay. And live on them and pay no taxes. Yeah, fine. That'll 
be cool. Maybe. Of course it will be. Okay, I hope you know what to do. Good thing I took a construction course and I know how to build a great house out of almost anything so I can have the most beautiful train house there is in the world. So I need to start by making a tree. Then we'll start three hours later. After a lot of time, sweat, and effort, I built my dream home. I'm sure every viewer will want to live in my cozy cabin. I can also travel the world from the comfort of my own home. My house is way cooler than yours. Besides, I built it faster than you. Um, your house looks like one big poop. Actually, it's your house poop. I have a trendy, stylish, modern home. Um, even from the outside, my house looks cooler. But maybe on the inside, your house isn't so bad. Once you step inside my house, you'll be shocked by my coziness. Um, uh, well, let's see what's inside your house. But I don't believe there's anything cool in there. Welcome to my place. You can make yourself at home. Um, uh, well, uh... This is the bed I will sleep on. The chest holds my toys. And the stove is where I will roast my food. Mikey, your house is awful. Come see how cool my house is. What's wrong with my house? You've got everything wrong. Your house is one big piece of dirt. I'm pretty sure your house is no better than mine at all. Then get inside and see for yourself. I hate coming into your stinking house. We're gonna find out whose house is cooler in the race. What? You wanna race the railroad? Yeah, my super cool house train is faster than yours. Ha ha ha! Your house will crumble out of the ground on the way. You better not say things like that or I'll hit you. Ha ha ha! What a mean boy you are! Get on your train and get ready for the race. You'll soon regret swearing at my house. Ha 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 ha! I don't think so. Friends, who do you think will win the race? Write about it in the comments. I think my train is going to beat Mikey's. Let's go! Mikey is going to regret calling my train house back. I'm gonna beat him in a race. I hope he doesn't cry again out of offense. JJ is so dumb. He doesn't understand anything at all about building houses. He's gonna regret this. All right, Mikey, are you ready? I'm always ready to win. I hope you're ready to lose. Only after you, Mikey. <laughs> See you at the finish line, JJ. Let's go. Let's go. Keep up, Mikey. You look so slow. I'm the slow one? You're the one who's moving like a turtle. <laughs> Actually, you're literally the turtle in life and on the railroad. Even though I'm a turtle, in a race between a turtle and a rabbit, the turtle always won. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna win, and you're going to lose. <laughs> Your house stinks so bad. I'm not comfortable being around it. You're just jealous you don't live in my house. Ha ha ha! What's there to be jealous of? No one would ever want to live in such a cheesy house. You're the cheesy one, and so is your house. Ha ha ha! Looks like you're falling behind, Mikey. Not only is your house stinky, it's also slow. Oh, oh my god, not that one. Uh, Mikey? Where are you? Uh, oh my god, I fell. Somebody help me. Ouch, that hurts. Looks like I lost. Uh, what's going on? Why is Mikey so far behind me? We were driving at the same speed. Looks like I've already won. Ha <laughs> ha, I like this. I knew that Mikey's house was worthless. Time to make fun of him for being an inept builder, a terrible racer, and also a braggart. Uh-oh, now that's not funny at all. Mikey's train has flipped. Oh my God, Mikey could have gotten hurt. I need to help him as fast as I can. And why is everything burning? The ground can't be on fire. I don't don't understand anything. How could the train overturn? It was traveling in a straight line. Mikey, hey, are you alive? Friends, like this video. Then Mikey will definitely survive. I'm so worried about him. I'm totally gonna like this video. It's time for me to really look for him. Mikey, where are you? Call me back. Oh, there you are, safe and alive. Hey, get up, stop sleeping. Your house is on fire. You're homeless again. Wake up already, otherwise you'll be burned. Uh, what's going on? I hope I won the race. You didn't win it. Anything. Your house fell apart along the way. Oh no, not that. My house was so strong and sturdy. Dirt isn't so sturdy. <laughs> it can't be. I almost won. It's not fair. Mikey, you lost. Be glad you're alive at least. What is there to be happy about? I have no home again. For the second time. It's not a big deal. You'll build yourself a third house. Just not out of the dirt. I don't want to build anything anymore. This house was perfect. No, Mikey. This house was awful. Uh, well, then I'm going to cry. Not again. I don't want to calm you down one more time. All of my houses are somehow constantly being destroyed or walking away from me all the time. It's all my fault. No, this is just a little mishap. These mishaps are too many. I'm a total loser. Your house is always fine. Haha, ha, you're right about that. By the way, I beat you in the race. Good for you, JJ. And now it's time for me to live in a dumpster. In a dumpster? Really? My house is completely unharmed. You can gloat over me all 
you want. I'm not gloating, Mikey. I'd like to help you once again. This house can't be rebuilt anymore. It doesn't matter. You can stay at my house if you want to. Oh, that would be cool. I think you and I could easily fit in there. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I'll stay with you. And thank you for helping me out once again, JJ. We're friends. I can't just leave you on the street. That's what I like. Let's go to your house. I want to put my stuff there. Uh, stuff? But your whole house was destroyed and burned down. You're not supposed to have any stuff. I managed to bring a bunch of toys and a bed with me. Those are the most important things to me. Uh, all right. I guess you can use my stuff if you want. I need to put the bed over here somewhere. I don't want to sleep with you. Uh, put it in a corner somewhere. Okay, I'll put it here. Hey, you broke my workbench. I'm gonna have to make a new one. Don't worry. I'll make you a new workbench. And you know I was wrong about your house. It's very nice and cozy. Haha, -ha, and I told you that you were only jealous of me. A little bit. Yeah. All right, then. I'm pretty tired from today. I'm gonna sleep here for a few hours. All right, good night. Night, Mikey. And good night to you too, JJ. Oh, Mikey fell asleep so fast. Oh, Mikey's bad luck. He's already lost three of his houses. Good thing Mikey's still alive. After such a bad accident, he could have been badly hurt. You know, I realized it's better not to drive so fast. Guys, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Would you like to be a race car driver? Write about it in the comments. And we have to keep moving. If the police come here, they must not realize what happened here. We will be traveling all over the country with this cabin. Mikey and I will have great adventures on this railroad. And along with traveling, there will be new dangers. One million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later. Today, I decided to sit a little bit to learn programming that in the future to develop my own game, which will be very popular and make me incredibly rich. Whoa, what was that sound? Ugh, it sounded like something exploded. I gotta check it out. I hope Mikey didn't do anything or we're gonna have another neighbor problem. It's gonna be awful. Last time we had to pay a lot of money to avoid problems. Hmm, seems okay. Hopefully it was the neighbors who blew something up. It's weird, nothing's changed, but it smells like burning. Hmm, oh. Uh, well, cool. Really cool. JJ, the house is on fire. Wow, really? Why don't you tell me how that happened? I don't know what happened. I just wanted to boil my own and it blew up. It blew itself up. Oh, yes. That's the problem with potions. Yeah. They like to explode on their own. You're right. That's the trouble. It must be a terrible coincidence that you were there. I'm telling you, it's true. Cool. Yeah, call the fire department. We can't handle this. Okay. Three hours later. What a wonderful day. I just woke up and the house is on fire. What's next? What? I don't know. The fire department will come and put it out. It'll be cool. And here they are. I hope they put this fire out before my computer burns down because it's worth a lot of money. Don't worry. They've got a cool car and I'm sure they'll put it out all right. Here's one of these firemen. Yeah. I hope he has good news because he looks lost. I hope so too. Hey, so what's going on with our house? What? Our house. What about it? Uh, your house. Well, there's a very bad fire, so we can't stop it. What? And it's going to take a long time. Are you telling me now that we lost the house because you can't put it out? Well, we can, but yeah, the house will probably burn down by then. We lost the house. Why call you if you're so useless? Uh, I don't know. I ran to put the fire out next. Wait, pull our computer out of the fire. I guess he didn't hear you. Yeah, you're right. I guess he didn't like that I said they were useless. You know, Mikey. What? I thought I told you to be careful how you conduct your experiments. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean for our house to burn down. Yes, cool. Yeah. Now we have to look for a house until these fools put out our house and rebuild. It's nighttime. I don't think anyone's gonna spend the night. It's good that our insurance covers such cases. It is very important to have insurance of the house in case of fire and other small things. Hey, I'm telling the truth. I had nothing to do with it. Of course. Of course. So as not to pay for its restoration. Well, let's go. I think there's some hotels. Well, where are these hotels? I don't know. Cool. I'm not sure, but I know someone who knows someone who might be able to take us in temporarily. Is that his booty? Yeah, sure. It looks like... What? It's like some kind of small living quarters. Maybe. Not a house. Hey, Bill's a cool dude. He's gonna take us in. Bill, it's me, Mikey. Okay. Can you get... Hey, who's that? It's me, Mikey. That? What? Can you put us up for the night? That you're knocking... Oh, Mikey, good evening. Oh, hey, Phil. Hi. Can you put us up for the night? What? Why? Our house burned down. Sorry, guys, but you are not honored in this village. What? From your recent actions... What's the latest action? You are now not in the good light of the village council. Oh, oh, yikes. Well, that's too bad. So they will punish anyone who shelters you or even 
and talks to you. Wow, fine. So you better get out of here. I don't even want to know what you've done here. Well, it's best to leave it out. After which you've been branded an enemy of this village. Yeah. And now every villager is hiding from you in fear. Ugh. Plus, wow. What? Not a bad friend of Mikey's. Well, we were friends a long time ago. I don't want to pout, but wow. That's a win combo for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I screwed up. Yeah, sure. What do we do now? We're going to live in that dump because we have nowhere else to go. Uh, that's not cool. Burning down the house isn't cool, too. Okay, but we could have. And we can't go to the hotel because we don't have any money left in the house that someone burned down. Okay. So we're going to be here all night until these scarecrows fix our house. Nah, I'm sorry for what I did, but I lost a lot of stuff in the house to the fire, too. I think they'll pay back what they burned. Yeah. It's in the insurance. I hope we get it back. I hope they put it out and rebuild the house because I don't want to hang around town all day or more. And I took the bottle away from him, and I finished what was there, gaga ga. A uh, hello, homeless guy? What kind of freaks are these? What? I don't know. We won't be here long. What? Our house burned down and we're poor. We'll hang out here for a while, okay? Get out of here. Hey, back off. This is our spot. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, guys, chill out, Harold. I guess they didn't get it. I got a knife and you got a what? I still have the crowbar from that house. Cool. Let's show them. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, bro. Okay, chill out. We get it? Let's go, JJ. Run! Let's settle this peacefully. Let's see my knife under your rib cage first. We're leaving, okay? Wow, these guys seem pretty pissed off. We got them all riled up. Let's get out of here before they stab us. Get out of here and don't come back. Look how angry they are, but it looks like they're not gonna chase us. Yeah, we're so screwed up, we can't even stay at this hobo's place. Let's go find a new home. Yeah, well, let's go look. Do you think there's an abandoned house? I don't mind even that. I don't know. Well, let's go see. Hopefully there'll be a house to live in. I guess. I'm incredibly tired from all... Good thing it's summer and it's not so cold at night. If it was cold outside, we'd be freezing. Yeah, that would be awful. What? That you stopped? I think there's an abandoned house nearby. Wow, it looks abandoned. I guess we could live there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, let's go check to see if there's anybody living there. Yeah, but be careful not to alarm the homeless with knives and crowbars who threaten us again. This place doesn't look like a place where homeless people live. They usually live somewhere near garbage dumps so they don't have to go far to look for food. Yeah, it looks kind of empty. I think it's a draw. It looks like this. All right, let's go in. Yeah, just try saying hello first. Hello? Anybody home? Not to me. Oh, whatever. It looks like... It looks like no one lives here. Yeah. Or at least... Maybe the old residents just moved out of here. I don't know. Maybe. Looks like we might be staying here tonight. But it looks wow. What? Abandoned. Yes, it is. So we could, I don't know... What? Get settled in here for now. Yeah, sure. Maybe even clean up the place. Uh, Mikey? What? Looks like this guy lives here. Wow. Yeah. Do you think he's still alive? I don't know. Or does he live here? Maybe. It's better we don't know that. He looks like a real bulky guy who could beat anybody. Come on, calm down. Yeah, fine. Look at this house. You think he'd live in a dirty house like this? I don't know. No? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Let's clean it up so it looks nice. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got flowers to put up, yeah. dust to take out, and yeah. I'll do it. Okay, then I'll get all the dirt out of here. Okay, I'll clean up the grass. Let's do it. Five minutes later. Hello again, everyone. We've already done a super cool renovation on our new house. I planted some pretty flowers here and cleaned up all the weeds. Oh yeah, Mikey did a great job. Look at all this beauty. These beautiful florals will add coziness and comfort to our new home. You're such a gardener, Mikey. Oh yeah, let's go show the renovations from the inside. We put toys and our stuff from the old house here. And this is where we're gonna sleep. Cribs are too small and cute. It's too crowded in here, but it's better than living with bums on the street. We found a nice computer at the dump. What kind of idiot would throw away such an expensive and powerful computer. I don't know, but we're gonna need this computer now more than the previous owner did. Oh yeah, I can't imagine what it's like to live at home without a computer. You can't live like this. Anyway, it's time to go to bed because it's already night outside. Good night, Mikey. Good night to you too. I hope our sleep won't be disturbed. And it's after words like that that most of the time something <laughs> terrible happens. Could you sleep at night in the woods? Write about it in the comments. What happened to my house? Oh my god, what are those scary noises? I heard someone just now. Who put a lock on my house? Looks like I have new tenants. Oh my god, what is this? Some kind of scary monster is breaking into our new house. Ah, open the door now. Mikey, there's a scary monster outside. Uh, maybe you were imagining it. Ah, open up, now. You see, it's so huge and ugly. Let me go home, this is not your house. Oh my god, he sounds really angry. He also wants to eat us. I hear someone squeaking. Is there really someone living in there? Ah, hide fast. 
monster. He can see us through the window. JJ, I'm really scared. All right, since I'm not welcome here, I'll come back a little later. Ooh, he's getting away. Ha ha. We're so lucky. There's no luck about it. He can go back. Um, you know, I recognize him. That's the dude who lived here before us. This is the biggest man I've ever seen. It's not a human being. It's some kind of monster. And you know what? We have to be ready when it comes to us a second time because I don't want to give our house to anyone else. We're going to set a lot of traps. We'll let him know he's not welcome here. Traps? Ha 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 ha. I like this one. We'll put these things here. That might slow him down a little bit. But we need more traps. I'll put up more wooden barricades. We have to build super high walls, lasers, and lots of other cool stuff. No monster will come through. Moments later. That's it. We protected our home as much as we could. Only a complete idiot would want to come to us again. Wooden barricades, iron bar and barbed wire fences, hot lasers, and a lava moat. Ha 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 ha. This is really cool. That monster can't do anything. I don't even know what else we can do to make our home safer. Where else would it be safer? No one could ever get through this. Even if he can get through the river of lava, my steep fence will stop that monster. Um, your fence looks too weak, but my high-tech lava defense lasers will definitely stop him. These lasers are too weak, and your river of lava can just be jumped over. No, it's too wide. You can't jump over it. My traps will be the coolest. And that's what we're about to find out. Your little fence of a couple planks won't stop him for a second. OJ. Oh, JJ, we got guests. Ah! Oh my god! What have you done to my house? Go away! You're not welcome here. Yes, you ugly monster! This isn't your home anymore! Ha ha ha! He looks so dumb! Now he's gonna realize he can't go through here! How am I supposed to get home? This fence doesn't even need to be here! Go back to your forest! Ha 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 ha! Whoo! Alright, that's it. I'm sick of this. This fence must be destroyed! Hmm! What? Hey! Stop! Looks like your fence isn't going to stop him! Oh my god! And now I'm really getting scared! What idiot decided to put these bars on? It's not pretty! My Mikey, do something. He's already getting closer to us. I can't do anything about it. Maybe my fence will stop him. Ah, stupid great. Ha ha ha. I can break them like pieces of paper. Mikey, he's already broken the first fence. I think your river of lava will definitely stop him. Ah, lava. I hate lava. It's too hot. Ha ha ha. Now that could really stop him. It's a good thing I always carry a bucket of water with me for times like this. Oh no, he just turned lava into obsidian. I didn't think of that. He's already passed two of our trap lines. All he has to do is get through the lasers and my two fences. The lasers will rip him in half. I hope he just goes through them. <laughs> oh no! Those lasers seem too dangerous. I think these boards will protect me from them. Mikey, he's not so dumb. He's the smartest monster ever. Oh no, my fences are too small for him. And I've told you this before. Ah, come here. <laughs> Looks like it's time for plan B. Do we have a plan B? Yes, hurry up and come home. It's already dangerous outside. I have no idea what could stop such a formidable, smart, and scary monster. Stop panicking. We will defend our home to the end. Oh, that's pretty cool. Bullets should stop any monster. Ha ha ha. He should run away in fear when he sees my gun. Here's Johnny. Ha 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 ha. That's where you're hiding. Oh my god. He's even scarier up close. Don't be afraid, Mikey. I'm going to put my bullets in him. What are you doing? Ah! ah! Eat bullets. You're a monster. Ah! Uh-oh, I'm out of ammo. Mikey, we're screwed. We surrender. Don't eat us, please. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like our life is over. What are you doing in my house? Uh, we live here. But this is my house. I didn't give you permission to live here. But we have no place to live. We found this little house in the woods and renovated it. Uh, really? It's pretty cute in here. Wait, you're not gonna eat us? No, that's awful. I don't eat people. Uh, then we were wrong about you. Please forgive us. Uh, all right, just don't shoot me with a gun again. I'm kind of surprised you've been so kind. I have been too kind my whole life. I have an idea. Stop! Your ideas are always stupid. We have nowhere to live. Couldn't we stay at your house? Yes, of course. The three of us will have so much more fun. And you guys are so funny. Wow, I'd be afraid to ask him to do that. After all, we were living in his house without his asking. Don't worry. He said he was kind. That's great. Now we have a new friend. Now he will protect us from all sorts of enemies. Oh, yeah. We shouldn't have been so mean to him. Guys, like this video. Would you like a friend like that? Write about it in the comments. Bye!